Howdy, howdy, folks. Rise, ping, ping, live. I know this Saturday I was supposed to do a live stream for you guys because it was my weekend for it, but we kind of had a little bit of a storm going on down here, so I wasn't able to do it. I had everything packed up in the shop. We're here now, so come on in. I'll give you guys time to round some folks up, share the stream. We're going to be forging the bottom fuller tonight. Uh, I've got some inch and a half square, 4140, four inches of it. Uh, my hardy hole is an inch and an eighth, so we're going to be forging the shank, then upsetting it down, and hopefully getting us a bottom fuller that I can take up to quad state with me to use in a project we got going on that we're going to be doing up there. So I need me a good sized bottom fuller. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Come on in. Me. <laughs> I like the name, man. That's awesome. <laughs> How you doing, Dan Zappa, Thomas D. Coffee Sporges in the house. Ben Toons. There's Captain Nemo. What's up, baby? How you doing? David Codfish. How you doing? North Country Forge. Hello. Hello. Hit the like button on your way in, guys. Take the thing over there and silence the... Uh, where it gets some penetration into the hardy hole. We wanted to go in about an inch or so before we start driving it down with the sledgehammer. But once we get into the hardy hole, we'll drive it down and create the shoulders around it, upset it down, and then we'll forge out the uh, fullering tool. Adam Robin, how you doing? Dad Rats Ford, don't you have loads of things to do for Quad State? Yes, I do. I want to make sure I'm bringing plenty of stuff to do. Doing better after the run and run with Pepsi. <laughs> I heard that. My, Michael Doss, how's it going? Mike Lowry's in the house. I'm going to mute that chat group so they keep on dinging in during my live stream. You guys, shh. You're watching. Stop messaging me. Good evening, Bob. How you doing, sir? You uh, up there dodging tornadoes and stuff, ain't you? 23 watching, only 13 likes. Come on, guys, pick it up. As you can tell, we survived the storm down here. Had worse thunderstorms the past months. Now the coast of North Carolina, they got it pretty rough. My dad got it pretty rough, but up where I'm at in North Carolina, it kind of dodged us. It, down and around us, really. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, we're back. Got everything drug back out. Kentucky lump coal. What do you mean lump coal? Do you mean bituminous, anthracite, lump coal? Is uh, Are you talking about charcoal? Lump charcoal? Yamez, I'm live. Hush, somebody tell Yamez quit messaging in that group. Come on in the live stream and talk if you want to chat. I believe, I'm not mistaken. Lump charcoal made of wood. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take about an inch and a half of that, start out with, start tapering it down, getting it down to the size we need, leave the bulk of it up top, that way we have something to upset down, to give us some decent sized shoulders, and then we'll worry about bringing it back in to make the fuller and tool out of it. I'm trying to uh, make up for the Saturday live stream, guys. I know this is the week I was supposed to do it, but the storm kind of prohibited that, but we all right. We all right. 360 camera is awesome, Island Metal Forge. I haven't got to check it out yet, man.
I don't know. Uh, lump charcoal, I don't know. I can't speak on that. I'm not certain on that. Man. I am not certain on that, sir. I don't want to give you bad information, but to me, what I've always known is lump charcoal is made of wood. You just had someone ask if my hammers are for sale. Well, of course my hammers are for sale. Bradley, what's up, brother? I'm doing a surprise live stream. Psst. It's definitely just plain old coal, so it's not charcoal. Yeah, I'd imagine that's uh, bituminous coal. Jacob Garrison, howdy from Texas. Yeah, tell him pop in here, share the link. Uh, Bradley, you know I'll be here for a while. Come on, brother. Uh, there you go. K Kentucky is bituminous coal. It's often in large lump form. Kind of like the West Virginia coal I've been getting. It comes in big chunks, uh, but it's bituminous coal. So there you go. Sounds like it'd be pretty good. Big lump charcoal just busted up a little bit or set them lumps beside the fire. Holy crap. Super coffee sports thank you man gas money you guys see that already taken care of me round about yeah vegas will do that to you bradley get you some rest brother you got a busy weekend ahead of you man bradley's uh got some damage to go fix from the hurricane his uh property down there his granddad's house that he, he got uh lost its porch and some floor and some of the rooms and uh Pretty good amount of damage to the house. The house is standing and fixable. It's just cosmetic stuff, but he's got a lot of work ahead of him. I may be able to go down and help him out once we get back from Ohio, man. So, all right. So, this thing's about up to heat. I'm gonna point you guys at the press. I'm actually gonna move the camera a little bit so you guys can get a better view, so I'm not blocking you with my arm. Got a better angle on the press right there. started there at the end. I'm going to work that back with the hammer now because that just about fits into the party hole. So go in here, we're going to take another heat and start working this back with the hammer. We're going to do most of this by hand tonight, guys. That way it uh, draws it out a little bit. Let you hang out with Ting Ting a little while because you're probably going to miss it this Thursday. I'll be grabbing it. Sure you guys took care of Mr. Coffee on that super chat. Y'all gave him some hand claps, right? Threw them to him? I hope so. If not, I'll ask for him again. Hand claps for Mr. Coffee on the $20 super chat. I really appreciate that, man. Get your plug back in here to the charger so you don't go dead. You don't want to die in the middle of Ting Ting live stream. Let's see. Lupe's in the house. Lupe, I heard that you uh proposed to your woman this week. If that's the truth, congratulations, brother. I heard she didn't say no and didn't run off screaming, so that's a good thing, right? <laughs> congratulations, man. Granted, 
hanging out after hammer. Well, get him in here. That way you can stick around too, Yamis. I'm going to go grab a pair of tongs. Be right back. So it's already in the trailer, you have to forgive me. Uh, Frontier Forge, how's it going? Also, uh, if you guys have a chance, make sure you go check out my Etsy shop now until uh, September 28th. Everything's 15% off for the Quad State sale because uh, everybody's coming to Quad State and what I'm sell selling at Quad State is going to be a little cheaper. It's not a lot cheaper, but it's going to be discounted, you know, because I'm taking a lot up there and I'm just trying to uh, get myself out there because there's going to be a lot of Smiths up there. There's going to be a lot of people. So uh, everything's going to be a little discounted at Quad State and for the folks at the camp site and all that. Etsy shop and uh, everything is 15% off. Go get it. And also, you'll notice I've made a, cute, a few new listings on there. I put uh the rounding uh swage spring swage um i got that listed on there and i also um, i didn't make a video on it but i can make a video if you guys want it's it's a pretty simple video i can do it if you want me to uh the top set it's a hot set hammer it's not really a hammer it's a top tool it's for hot set shoulders uh john switzer's done a video on them but it's basically to give you a good clean shoulder so you can set it on the near side of your ample set your piece on there and then hold that on there and you got a striker to hit it and it'll give you a nice shoulder on both sides even nice crisp clean you don't gotta worry about trying to hammer it in there it's a top tool for it that's listed on there too everything's 15 percent off um, and i also uh, remember i do believe uh yes you can combine the discounts as well if you're a patreon so you automatically get your discount for your level of patreon as well as the 15 percent off so don't forget that And if you want to become a Patreon, it's patreon.com slash countylineforge. Go check that out. All Patreons get a certain set discount, permanent discount on everything in my store, depending on the level of patronism. What up, Devil Den? Sully's in the house. Some. 
That way we can get plenty down in that heart. You all know when we start up setting it down, there's going to be a lot in there. But I want a good two, three inch shank hook, maybe more. So make sure it's seated in there real well. Okay, see where we're at. And remember, this is 4140. It looks screaming hot to you guys because I'm on my cell phone. But it's not. Kind of treat it like spring steel. When it gets to a certain point, just put it back in the fire. Get it hot. Give your new camera in the mail tomorrow for recorded videos. All right, I can't wait to see a video, Frontier. See it. I have in the house. What's going on? Nerd. Oh, so I got something to show you. Look what's coming to Quad State with me, buddy. I just got to do the cleanup grind on it. It is forged. It is ready to be cleaned up and ground. There's CLF. That's for you, Sully. This is yours, brother. It is coming with me. And your brass. Uh, I didn't ship it. I figured save the money on shipping. I'm bringing it with me. Don't shoot me. I'm sorry. You have good news from Curiosity Forge. What is the good news? Yeah, Alan, bring that bad boy with you. We're going to work that sucker out for you, man. See what we've got to do with it get it where you need it. That way we got you making hammers, baby. No, we didn't get flooded, man. Hell, we've had worse thunderstorms in the past month. That was a big fucking hype up or nothing for us. They should have put the people at the coast on alert. Instead, they put... Four states in a state of emergency, five states in a state of emergency. They declare state of emergency two states at the state line. Uh, two isolated areas at the coast got really flooded. Other than that, you know, just some trees down and shit like that. Nothing like they ever expected it to be or planned or told you it was going to be. They just hyped it up to get everybody to go blow their money. You ought to see Craigslist around here or the Facebook marketplace. Holy shit. If you need a generator, now's the time to buy them. You can get brand new generators for half price because people bought the damn things and then they didn't use them so they're turning around selling them because they can't take the fucking things back. Sup, champ? How you doing? Making a bottom puller for those just joining us. Drawing this back some. start upsetting that bad boy down in there now. See how. Alright, we're about an inch and a half in so far. So once we start upsetting it down in there, it's going to really sit down in there. So I, I like where we're at. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to give it a good heat. We're going to come out and start striking with that sledgehammer. I'm doing it by myself too, guys. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Huh?
into your road. Yeah, if, everybody is uh, the, down there. The flood water's coming that way because it's all running down. It's just like Matthews. Uh, the rivers haven't even crested down there because all the rain that we got. But it was nowhere near as devastating as they said. I mean, hell, it was a it was it was a remnant low by the time it hit me. It wasn't even a tropical depression, much less a hurricane or a tropical storm. Let's see. There wasn't any looting going on around here. Yeah, I know that, that I do that too, but this is also, I want to show folks how to make it out of one piece. Uh, I, I, I've, I've made most of my hardy tools by welding the one inch shank to it, but my hardy, my anvil shank is an inch and an eighth. And uh, it's not a normal size around here. I can get it, go buy special steel just for it. So I kind of want to show folks how to make it out of one piece. Folks who don't have welders and stuff like that, they can make it this way. Well, got a tra uh, trench in and everything. Uh, uh, Yamez, it ought to be easy digging. Tommy, Tommy Driscoll. I'll start calling you. I'll just call you TD. You ain't gonna make it to Quad State Pinscher? That sucks, man. Hardy hot cut. I make them Brian Brazil style right there. Tapered hot cut fits several of my fits all my ambles. Yeah. It takes about ten minutes to make. Alright, we're good and hot. As you can see the big sledgehammer over there ready. Who's coming up to the mountains? We're at in the mountains there, North Country. shoulders on it now. I'll come back in put it in a different way. Like that. Drop it some more. I want to make it where it fits on any way I put it.
Nice shoulders are getting around it now. Been watching my channel for a while. I'm a great teacher. Ting Ting Man. Mike Irvine, I really appreciate that. Uh, I don't consider myself a teacher, but if you guys have learned stuff from me, I guess that's kind of the definition of a teacher. So I appreciate that compliment. I take that as a very big compliment. Thank you, sir. How's Roy's shoulder? I don't know. Hey, Don. Yeah, glad I didn't flood out, huh? Uh, on your little pounds, little 70 pound fairy anvil, I wouldn't try it. Fairy anvils have very thin heels. Ting Ting needs a square die to make them fullers or hot cuts. What do you mean, need a square die? What are you talking about, David? Square die for the press. I kind of like it with the roll on the face of it. I'm actually uh, quite decent with working it that way. It makes for nice, soft transitions instead of sharp transitions. If I want sharp transitions, I can make them uh, in other ways. Yeah, it's Roy's back. What's the weight on your fisher? Y'all man, what's the weight on it? 168, mine's only 200, man. And I was making hammers on my 150 pounder. Face it, if you break the heel off your damn anvil, well, can you really get mad about it? You're hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> it could happen, you know, it, it, it could, it's very possible. You guys pound that like button. 41 of you in here on 24 likes, what's up? Interact with the channel, it helps. All the support helps, folks, I really appreciate it. You hit a thumbs up, that's channel interaction. That goes towards my analytics. You know, just being here helps. So pound that like button, guys, please. Share it. Let's get some folks in here. We're doing some forging. Oh, referencing when John, yeah, how's his arm where the piece of chunk of steel flew off? <laughs> Setting it down real good and straight. Turn it out quite nicely. Spin it around. Said I want this thing to fit all directions.
comes out rather easily now. And that's, I mean, we can go as far as a stump apple with this. You know, if you made this into a spike, you could drive this into a stump as is, harden it. Now you got a stump apple, a steak apple. So, oh, we got a live, we got a $5 super chat from Island Metal Forge. Thank you, sir. Road snacks. It's going to get them too, boy. Thank you. Oh, y'all already killed it with the hand claps, too. You rock, y'all, miss. Thank you, sir. A lot of these guys that leave these super chats have YouTube channels of their own. And I'll tell you what. I can't wait till you guys get to the point where you guys are able to monetize your channel so I can return the favor. Man, it's going to be awesome. Devil Den Metalworks. Did I get my email? your email, Ting Ting? No. What was it about? What was it about? I may have. Because I see you as Devil's Den Metalworks. I don't know who you are as far as your actual name. So I may have got it. I just don't know who, what, if that was you or not. So just a quick reference to what the subject was right here. Mailing it. No, I did not get that. Uh, countylineforge at gmail.com. And uh, if your email address is Devil's Den Metalworks or something like that, I don't know who you are. But if it's not, leave uh, Devil's Den Metalworks in there somewhere and I'll shoot you my address. You'll take a handshake and a smile, brother. Well, you're gonna get a hug. Damn the handshake. We like family, you guys. I talk to you guys every day. <laughs> Mike Lowry, better run. Everybody's giving y'all meds the clap. <laughs> uh, I think a damn hurricane just came through. 80 something degrees, 8 o'clock at night. Also, uh, I got out a basic shirt on Teespring with just my Forge logo on it now. Nothing on the back, and you can order it in multiple colors for men and women. Uh, that's uh, new on the Teespring. Go check it out. All right. Hubcap. I got something to show you, baby. Where'd they go? Here's your hammer tongs. What do you think, Hubcap? Hammer tongs. I got to do some uh, cleanup work. Do some filing up around this, around here, just to get rid of some rag or whatever from the forging. But there they are, 4140 tool steel, man. Uh, gonna be shipping them out tomorrow with your hammers. Uh, I'll message you after this. I know you sent me a message telling me to remind you of uh, what the shipping is. I will take care of that after this. So if you're happy with these and you're happy, I'm happy, we're gonna get them sent. Two hundred sub announcement. Then six people disappeared. Hey, let's get two more subs for County or for uh, Curiosity Forge. Dad Rats, have a good one, man. I'm thinking about doing one more live stream this week too on Wednesday to make up for missing Thursday because this was to make up for Saturday. So you guys, give me a hand clap if you want to see a live stream on Wednesday. Yep, turn the camera down. Almost forgot, didn't
Alright, clean it back up a little. Back in the fire. Thirty. Oh, we got some more super chats here. Who did what? Let's scroll back up. Ten dollars from Dad Rats or ten pounds? Wow. Thank you, man. Hand claps. Give them to him because he's out the door. Let make sure he sees them before he leaves, man. I appreciate that, Peter. Goes a long way. Just get the live stream in before Fortune Fire. I don't watch it, so when does it come on? When does it come on? Nemo's back. Everybody, by the way, Ben Toombs' nickname now. Everybody's got nicknames. Ben Toombs is Captain Nemo. Nine PM Eastern. Sorry, won't be finishing that up on before nine. So seven, who knows? We'll see. Ben Toombs is forever known as Captain Nemo to me now. Why? Why Captain Nemo? I'll let Ben explain that. The captain's part is because he uh, loves boats. He's a boat man, racing boats, things like that. Nemo, because if you guys don't know, Mr. Toombs is a blacksmith with only one good arm. Just to show you that shit can't hold you back if you really want to do it. He's got one uh, one arm that's not usable for blacksmithing. He, he makes his way with it, though. He holds stuff. The man is awesome. He don't let shit hold it back. He works on boats, builds race boats, blacksmithing. He's like Nemo from the movie. Now, don't fucking give up. Don't let that small arm fuck with him. So, Captain Nemo, man, he's a damn inspiration. like that man you don't let nobody bother holding back I think so Alan is her shiny <laughs> you guys are awesome Like the Vietnam reference. Right arm is labor, left arm is management. That's right. <laughs> this arm does the work, this arm controls everything. <laughs> I love it. That's a good one. A little warm. I'll 
at them nice shoulders we got. It almost, yep, it slips right down in there that way. Right down in there that way. Right there that way. Ooh, not that way. A little more tweaking. The miss. Did you, Alan? Anyways, here we go. Here's where we're at so far. You guys think nice and even? It's about ready to. I think one or two more passes doing that, and we will be ready to start forging on the fuller end. Helicopter voice. Is there something wrong with it now? Is uh, audio going bad? We're good now? Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Back up a little bit too much ugly in the camera. That's probably what's messing it up. Jeff Pender's in the house. What's up, man? I'm glad you finally got to catch one. You missed the last couple. Think the white shirt screwing with the camera? Here, let me just take it off. <laughs> yeah, if anybody caught Miss Penny's live stream uh, Saturday, the shirt she was wearing with the stripes. Wow! I thought I had a bag of mushrooms before I started watching that thing. Let me tell you what. Oh yes, Alan, everybody's bringing white t-shirts. They're planning on doing a slip and slug. Been moving, working on the new place. Well, I'm glad that you're uh, getting things taken care of, Jeff. Stay busy at it, man. It'll be done before you know it. You'll be back to forging, won't you? No, that's the yellow light. It's making the white shirt look yellow. Round upset down in there. One more round. It didn't work. Is that a better angle now. Borrow hell, you can buy you one. Hit Walmart. 50 cent a piece. <laughs> the circle from hell. It didn't go out, did it? I can still see the chat. 
Granny may not know Walmart. Well, she's going to know it before she leaves the United States, I promise. What's going on, Amy? How you doing? Uh, upset enough. Oop, drunk boards. I ain't out still, but you can take a drink if you want. <laughs> that was a piece of inch and a half square, guys. Remember that. I one cycling to press just to taper that shank just a hair. The rest has been by hand with that big ass sledgehammer. All right, Frontier, have a good one, brother. What y'all mean, trippy shirt? Is this thing really tripping the camera out? I can't see it on my end. You'd be upset if you beat me. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, Brandon's out of here. Wait, okay, so Frontier Forge, is that Brandon? Is Brandon Frontier Forge? I don't know a lot of you guys on first name basis, so if you have the name of your forge as your channel name on YouTube or as your screen name on YouTube, uh, I, and I've never spoke with you in person or on YouTube or anything like that, and I don't know your name, drop your name in there sometimes so I can get to know you on a first name basis because I see all your all of you in here all the time, but I don't know a lot of your first names. If you don't know mine, damn it, Ting Ting. Ah, Brandon is Frontier Forge. Randy, ugly, well, yeah. I picked up on that one there, Randy. <laughs> Mike Lowry, have a good one, brother. God, the bugs are insane because of this damn storm. They come from everywhere. Iron Eagle Forge. What's going on? Devil's Den, Metalworks, Ray Ray. Paul. All right. All right. We're going to clean this thing back up to a nice square, and then we're going to start working the fuller end of it. Pound the like button. Like the pound button. Whatever you gotta do to it, give it a smash.
Right now I'm trying to control the fish mouth. Same time. So far so good. Because on the next seat, I want to draw out the puller. Bouncing up like that. Drop forwards, motorcycle man is in the house. Or it wants to say, once you go call, you won't go back. Nah, I don't know about all that. I use coal and gas. Hey, hey, Jacob Garrison got to play in the background while you build an updated forge. To get to it. Play in the background, trying to make a rope twist. Man, I heard that. Good background noise. Uh, I enjoy it. I do have a lot of fun. Thank you. All right. He's keeping the beat for you. There you go. I try to hammer in a certain beat. Good rhythm. You know? I'm funny, Miss Amy. <laughs> well, my mom always told me if I was going to be ugly, I better be funny. I hope I did all right. Made her proud. Two days to wake up, call till quad. That's right, Mr. Patterson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got the truck filled up. I'm sure we're going to have another one or two fill-ups on the way. But, oh, we getting there. I'm going to pick up steel tomorrow for all the uh, tongs and everything we're going to be doing. Bradley's not here. It's just me tonight by myself. If they don't find your hands, they should at least find your handy. That's right. Alright, we got it squared. I'm gonna use the press to start getting this fuller drawn out where I want it. This big chunk of steel now, and I want it to move at a decent speed. Okay. Buddy Bell, what's going on, man? Less drinking, more tanking. I ain't drinking. Not tonight. I'll be doing the flat foot dance the other time. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see if we can get this in one shot. Not the, not starting to press before. One shot.
Alright, we're going to take it to the anvil and straighten it up a little bit now. Now we're just going to have to go slow with it and upset it down some more to make sure it stays flat and sits on the anvil like it's supposed to do the shoulder station where it's square and crisp. And we also keep the fuller centered over it. So it's all by hand here from now from here on out. I may use the press one more time. We'll see. Uh, it just depends on how centered up I get it. And Man, we got jokes because somebody's get burnt. Bradley swung his sledgehammer first night and he's been behind the camera ever since. You think I heard him? <laughs> oh, he's warming up to it. Don't worry, Mr. Bass. I got another video I'm working on where he was out here for helping me forge these anchors. So he's doing some hammer. He ain't afraid to get in there and ting with the team. Sometimes I wonder if you guys watch and talk or more or talk more. I don't know. You guys read the chat more than you watch? I don't know. I'm gonna test you guys one day. Don't be sorry, hell. <laughs> Talk all you want. I just think it's funny. Bugging his girlfriend kissing with a stunt double. Ha <laughs> ha. Jeffrey, I can't read you looking pictures. <laughs> it's because Benny's here.
I got a big old glob of sweat right here on my eyeball. And it's making me have to look at it weird. <laughs> I had to tilt my head as everybody so I see through my safety glasses. Alright. We're getting it pretty centered up. This right here is where it would be really handy to have that top set tool and a striker. I could just put it on there to dress it up. $1.99 Super Chat. Get a drink on the road. Thank you, sir. Give me a good old Arizona sweet tea. I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Y'all gave them them hand claps. Iron Eagle Forge. Make sure, yep, there they are. How about it? Right on, brother. I appreciate it. Sweat bug, that's right. You know what I'm talking about, Jim. Sweat builds up on your safety glasses while you're working, and you can't do anything. Speaking of safety glasses, where I just put them, there they are. Get it together, man, get it together. Yeah. Whew. When you get some, oh, it's not a, uh, you guys don't feel obligated to do that. That's only if you feel like you want to. I mean, I used to drink Snapple every day growing up. That was the drink back in middle school. They had the Snapple and the Fruitopia vending machines. I used to get a Snapple every day. Every day. Every day I'm Snapple. Ah, so. You guys like the live streams better with Bradley here? I think I do. So let's work on me. It's not like I ain't got enough work as it is, right? Yes, Fruitopia was nasty as hell. If I had a had my top set and a striker, these faces would be a lot cleaner because I could just put my set on there like that and have a striker get it. You know? Clean it up. It's kind of like a platter, but it's also a hot set. It's smaller than a platter. Go on my head to the shop, take a look.
guys kind of see where we're at with this. Got a little fish mouth on the end, nothing we can't clean up with the uh, grinder. Oh, we got another super chat. Who was it this time? Let's see here. Jim Patterson. Just cause I'm the ting, I am the ting. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Thank you. I can't wait to shake your hand, man. Ah. How's that press going for you there, Mr. Patterson? I know you had it in your shop, uh, your business shop. Did you ever get a way to get it uh, set up in your home shop? Could I use a spring fuller? Is that for me, Jeff Pender? Yes, I could use a spring fuller. I make them. I use them a lot. Spring fullers are awesome. You and me going fishing in the dark, lying on the bank and counting the stars. Let the cool breeze blow. Baby, we're ready. Don't act like I don't know that song, girl. Oh, SpaceX is launching the first private passenger to the moon and back on what BFR? On the big fucking rocket. Is that what BFR stands for? No, in Tesla, that's what it is. Benny, honey, I grew up around country music. There ain't a lot of. Might be a little dust on the bottom. Don't let it fool you about what's inside there, Mr. Dixon. You get country music across the pond? Yeah. Ain't a damn thing wrong with country music. Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, Hank Jr. Mm. Trick shots and shit, buddy. You guys see that? All right, that's a good size bottom puller right there, folks. It's kind of what I was going for. Uh, not all of you know what we're doing up here at Fox State. I've kept it a secret for the most part. Uh, there is a chat group that we're in. Uh, that there's a sudden few of us in called the Watch Bot on Facebook. Uh, it's a private chat. some of the projects we're doing up there. But one of the projects I want to do while we're there is this big ass bottom pool. 
and a big swage block. I'll tell you a little more about that here in a few. Chris Christophers. Man, now y'all bringing up all the old country song, country music. Yeah, today's country sucks. It's not country. The Guns and Roses wouldn't be bad at them. I think YouTube Red is ad free, but it's a paid subscription. Not sure, but I'm I'm thinking that's what it is. I like beards too. I know y'all are talking about the band, but I just had to say that. I like beards too. Country puts you in a bad place. Yeah, it can be depressing, man. I don't like crybaby country, that's for damn sure. Crybaby country is uh they always say what you get when you play a country song in reverse, you get your house back, you get your wife back, your dog back, your job, your whole life. You get everything back if you just play that record in reverse. Country music singers are known for crying. I like happy country music. Like, man, you play Rascal Flatts in reverse, you're going to get every damn thing you ever lost back because he done told you about it all. I don't think Rascal Flash has made a single happy song. Every one of his is about losing something. Zach Brown? No. Yamez. Yamez. All right.
over there. What do you guys think? You want that sit there and chill? Hammer Time's out of here. We'll see you, man. The world would implode if I'd been. I think my beard's awesome, but there's some guys at the racetrack. I really got to show y'all some pictures of a couple of the guys, a couple of my buddies at the racetrack, man. They got beards down to here. Amazing. <laughs> Wizardly. Pump for quad state, Rob. Me too, man. Can you PM me for specs on my grinder? You need to build one ASAP. Absolutely, Jeff. Did you harden a hot cut? No. You're cutting hot steel with it. That edge is going to lose its temper on the first couple hits. Normalize it good. That's it. Normalize it good. That's it. Flare savers right there. Save it for later. Mm-hmm. I'm plenty long. That's when you're eating like a donut or something with your coffee in the morning. Some of that glaze falls down on there and you ain't, you forgot about it. You lick your lips later and you get that piece of glaze and it's like, mm, damn, that was good. It's your flavor saver. I know, I'm crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Weird. Y'all remember what this used to look like, right? Go. What do y'all think? Turned out all right, huh? Just gotta do some grinding on that end up there to clean it up. Like it? Once I get it cleaned up, I'll probably be putting these up on the Etsy store as well for those who want them. Because if I do it with a tapered shank, um, well, you got to have Antonio Hardy. I don't think I can do it with this one. Maybe not. Maybe I won't put them on there. Who knows? Get my hands on a nice swedge block at uh, Quad State to where I can uh, have the different size square holes. Then maybe I can start offering these. That way I can use a one inch square, five eighths, whatever. All right, Matt Irvine, have a good night, brother. Whew. Yeah, they could always be filed to fit a smaller hardy hole. Hit on a grinder. No, uh, wooden temporary heat treat, you could. Uh, I'm gonna normalize, that's why I use tool steel. Because you're using hot steel on it. And when you're something this big, I'm fullering something really big. I'm fullering something really big. A lot of the, some of the folks. I'll let you guys know now. Uh, I'm making a big sledgehammer. Big. It's bigger than. It's, it's as big as that. Or bigger. 
we're gonna make a big old sledgehammer. Thing's about 20 pounds. We need something fuller to isolate the faces. That's what we're gonna have. And when you got a block of steel that big sitting on top of a tool for that long, it's ruined the heat treat. It is no point. It's gonna be so hot, it's gonna ruin it. It's going okay, so just normalize it. Use good steel. Don't use mild steel. Use good tool steel. Something that's I'm bringing Chandler Dickinson's old swage block to Quad State. Did you lose me in my back? In my back? Lost the feed. No. Okay, I'm back. Cool. Uh, I'm bringing Chandler Dickinson's old swage block. The quad state. Remember that giant freaking swage block he had weighed like 300 pounds? What do you guys think? You have to change your order. What's your order? You have to forgive me. I don't, I'm not good with names. What did you order? And when did you put the order in? And what's the slight change? Let me know. Say it here. Put it all right here right now because I'll forget. What well, you won't change. And also email it to me. Email me. Ah, uh, uh, you ordered the axe drift. All right. What do you need to change about it? What do you want to change about it? Yeah, Rob, you get to touch the swage block. I'm bringing it up there and we're going to be using it to drift the sledgehammer. All right, guys. Oh, uh, Chandler's still going. He just posted a video today. And yesterday. He just had a little setback, had to get set, situated where he's at. But there we go. That's what we did. Motorcycle man, I'm waiting on you to tell me what, uh, you need to change about your order. I'm waiting. Dimensions. Oh, you want it made to a certain dimension. Hmm. That's kind of a custom thing instead of ordering what I make. What do you need? What kind of dimensions do you want? Because uh, we'll have to discuss this elsewhere. This uh, look up a few posts. Just a slight change. I'm looking back up. I don't see it. What do you mean? Slight change dimensions. Don't be vague. Don't uh, don't speak in code. Don't speak in code. Stubby and round. Just email me, countylineforcegmail.com. If you've got two, we'll get on the phone with each other. Uh, send me a drawing of what you're talking about if you're trying to change it because um, I make my axe drifts. I may have one laying here to show you that I'm working on. No, I don't. I don't have one. Chandler's from New York. All right, guys. Stubby and round, motorcycle man. Like I said, email me, countylineforcegmail.com. We'll get it worked out. Kind of make a drawing because you see what I, I sell in my Etsy shop. That's what you were going to be getting. Um, so if you want it to be different than that, then we've got to work something different out. So email me. Okay. Yes, he is from upstate New York. Uh, John Norwood owns his swage block now. 
the one that he had, because if you know Chandler's got that new hay button, um, he got that from John Norwood at Old Hickory Forge, my buddy right down the road from me. Uh, Chan Chandler is friends with one of is friends with John's best friend that he served in the military with. So Chandler and John know each other pretty well, I guess. And they made a trade. Chandler never used that suede block. John wanted it and had his sons of anvils laying around. So John and him traded even up for the suede block for the 200 pound hay button. And uh, it was a very fair trade because that was an amazing, the best condition hay buttons I've ever seen for its age. I mean, it was crisp, clean, like a factory mint. And uh, I've got, and if you look, if you go to John Norwood's channel, Old Hickory Forge, you get to see, you can see us using that suede block on the sledgehammer he made. He's got a video of us making a sledgehammer. So you're gonna see why we're gonna need that big ass swage block to make that thing up there because you need some ass underneath that mass. All right, TD, have a good one. No, old Hickory Forge is not coming. He backed out. Everybody go tell him how much you hate that he backed out. Hard to hear me, Ting? Uh, how about now? Can you hear me now? You won't see me Thursday. Oh well, you will, Dan. Are you come? You coming to John's, Dan? Yeah, Jeffrey's seen it. That anvil is gorgeous. Uh, that was John's main shop anvil that he used for so long, until he uh, until he bought the uh. Are you time out, Dan Zapp, Are you camping at John's? We need to know. Are you camping? We we're, we need to know because we're trying to get a list together of everybody that's camping there. And you're more than welcome to. We just need to know. But, no, uh, okay, John, there you go. Dan Zappa's camping. He is indeed camping. But um, John got that double horn anvil, cast steel, and um, he got it for a steel. God, he got it for steel. He is a 260-pound double horn cast steel anvil from Sweden. And the guy that he got it from came from Sweden, brought him over with him, brought his anvils, and he's like, I'll sell it to you for what I've got into it. And it, he, he paid $700 for a 260-pound cast steel double horn anvil with the factory clear coat still on it. Holy shit, right? Yeah. He, he didn't tell me about it until after he bought it because he knows I'd have probably bought it out from underneath him. <laughs> but I helped him load it up, and that's when he said, you know, I, I'm doing this because I'm trading this sample to Chandler. So... Hey, be right back. New shower for too much later. Still got a little work around here to get before I start a new possible new job. Possible new job. That's awesome. All right, champ. See you this weekend. Like I said, guys, I might do a live stream Thursday night. Or not Thursday, Wednesday night this week before I leave Thursday to go to Quad State since I won't be doing my Thursday night. So. All right. Been a pleasure out of here as well get some rest uh got a couple long days ahead of me get stuff finished up for quad state guys if you're coming we'll see you then i can't wait i'm excited uh i really appreciate all the super chats tonight thank you so much i'm gonna be getting a list together very soon over the, for the last month or two of everybody that's contributed to the channel it really helps i thank you guys so much for the super chats because you don't know how much it means to me it helps me pay for fuel just like the patreon does it pays for the fuel pays for the materials stuff to do these because you know all the videos are free i don't do patreon specific videos you know those folks are just kind enough to feel generous enough to donate monthly to the channel to help keep things going and then they jump a lot of them jump in here and do super chat so i really do appreciate that uh really i do um thank you so much and like yamez says hearts and health brother and sister we're all one big family uh we're gonna try and do a, some live streaming from quad state but the problem is there's no not good internet service up there where john's at he doesn't get good service out in his shop from his uh router we're gonna have to figure out a way to jump some uh to do some boom yama is gonna live stream so i'm sure if he's live streaming he'll, he'll be forging some stuff live streaming I'm sure somebody's gonna probably put a camera on me the whole, i'll probably have a camera on me the whole weekend i imagine uh if i'm in, it, in front of the animal i, get, I about guarantee it because there's gonna be a lot of people there watching uh <laughs> You about guarantee you're going to see some forging from Quad State one way or another, because <laughs> that's for sure. But you guys have a wonderful night. I really appreciate house. I wish I had more I could do tonight. But this thing's normalizing. Uh, I'm going to get it in there and get it ground once it normalizes and get it ready to go and get it in the trailer.
clean this end up. Who should be good internet at the fairgrounds? Are there is there internet at the fairgrounds? That'd be awesome. Iron Eagle Forge. Have a good night. Thank you for the super chat. Share the hot spots. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be there next year. Well, that's awesome, man, because we're going to do it next year. Hopefully next year will be twice as big as it's going to be this year. I honestly think that uh, our gathering at John Coffey's is uh, going to be bigger, <laughs> is going to overshadow Quad State. Not saying it's going to be bigger than Quad State, but it's going to be more important to us than Quad State. We're going to have more fun there. And Quad State's just going to be like a little added perk that we can ride down the road and go check it out because there's going to be so much going on at John's. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. Um, but there's so many of you in here. If you guys want to sit and chat for a minute, we will. Something I wanted to bring up also tonight before we go. Now's a good time. Still got about 40 of you in here. Maybe you can spread the word. Um, I want you guys to understand something when you order stuff from a blacksmith. Uh, all right. Especially from me. Um, everything from black made for you. It's not production. It's not getting stamped out on an assembly line. There's not a lot of elves running around behind me making shit for me, uh, picking up my slack. There, there's nobody in my shop doing my grinding while I'm out here forging. There's, there's nobody in the office uh, taking orders, processing emails and Etsy orders and packing things up and shipping and stuff. There's nobody doing that stuff, okay? There's nobody in the house feeding my kids when my wife's at work and I'm here working. I've got to do that. Um, there's a lot, okay? There's a lot that goes into being a single man operation as a blacksmith and having as many orders as I could. Um, I have processing times on all of my items. Um, they are clear as a bell on my website. They're on my store. Um, there is no hidden strings. There is no uh, no fine print that's telling me or that, that's hiding things from you. If you order something from me and it tells you you got a six to eight week wait, well, six to eight week wait. Um, Unless you come to me in advance and say, hey, I'm paying you extra for a rush order. I need this because that can be done. Don't come to me four weeks in cussing me out and talking smack to me because you haven't got your order yet because you're probably going to wait a little longer. Yeah. Um, not they ordered something in August, and it's a six- to eight-week wait. Their ship date's uh, middle of October. And they haven't messaged me once since they made the order or anything. And I got a message saying, hey, uh, is this thing going to ship anytime soon? I would have never ordered it from you had I known it would take this long and had to listen to all your excuses. Excuses? Let me tell you something, buddy. I don't make excuses. I get shit done. All right? Um, I haven't talked to you once. I've never made an excuse to you. I've never made an excuse to anybody here. I've taken it on the chin, all the mishaps and misfortunes that I've ran through this year. I've taken it like a man and I've kept on keeping on. A lot of shit I've been through this year would have knocked a lot of people down and not been able to get back up. But I'm still here pounding on steel for you guys. So if you order something from me and you come to me like that, I'm liable to make your ass wait the six to eight weeks and then give you your fund. Keep your money for eight weeks and then refund the shit to you and not send you your item. Because it says on my page, six to eight week processing time. Okay, and that's not a suggestion. That's not a uh, it, it, that that's not a, a guess. Okay, I don't have six to eight weeks twiddling my beard. You knew it was a six to eight week processing time when you paid for it. Okay, I've got a family. I've got a life. I've got other orders. You're not the only order I got. So please. If you order something from me, pay attention to the process and time. It's not my fault if you want it sooner than that. If you do, it can be worked out. Come to me before you pay for it and say, hey, I'm going to kick you something extra. I need to rush this order, and I can work that out, no problem, okay, because people pay for expedited service all the time. You want to ship something overnight, it costs you more than three days shipping. You get pushed ahead of the guy that shipped his shit yesterday, right? So, you know, money talks. You want to be pushed ahead of all these folks that's already paid for their orders, come see me. You're going to pay for it. I'm going to work the extra hours. I'm not going to keep the same hours and just push them back. I'm going to work an extra four hours today or whatever it takes to get your order done. That way I don't screw up the process of time for theirs. But you're going to pay for that. What you're not going to do is uh, patronize me. You're not going to talk down to me. You're not going to 
rush me. You're not going to talk crap. You came to me for a reason, and you can leave for if, for all I care. You're not going to stop me from doing what I do. Uh, I'm more than happy to refund you your money, but you're not going to get it until your ship date because you've already crossed the line by jumping on me for your mistake. So everything's made to order. I don't have anything laying around, okay? When you order a hammer from me, I make it for you. I don't pick one up out of a pile of pre-made hammers and send the shit to you. I make it for you when it comes across my table. Your order goes in a stack. You don't go on top of that stack when your order prints out. It goes on the bottom. Everything I make has a six to eight week wait except for um, hammer billets. Because like I just cut that, box it up, ship it out. Okay, that's something I can do in between normal sizing cycles, whatever. That don't take any time out of my day. But if it's got to be made, forged, six to eight week wait. I don't care what it is. You want a bottle opener, six to eight week wait. Sorry, I, I, I'm a one man show here. <laughs> this is all you get from me. Uh, and I, I hate to have to be like this, but I'm not going to tolerate being treated like that in emails, uh, treat me like I'm not allowed to have a day off, you know. Uh, I probably work more hours in three, three days than you, most of you guys work in a, in a week. So if I want to take a day off to rest, I will. Hey, Yamez, man, thank you. You ain't got to do that, though, man. I just, I, I don't like... I wear my heart on my sleeve, guys. A lot. I like to please everybody. I like to make sure everybody that has an experience with me enjoys the experience. They get what they pay for. They're happy and they want to come back. Okay. I I don't ever shortchange anyone. I feel I don't. I actually go above and beyond for my customers to make them happy. Okay. And whenever somebody says those things to me, it kind of it, it hits home with me because I go out of my way to help everybody that I can. And if you don't believe that, then that's on you. You probably don't know me well, and that's fine. But if you're ordering stuff from me, you've probably watched my videos. So you know that I am who I am. And I've said, I don't know how many times, it's a wait. And exact, I do what I can when I can, and sometimes when I can't, I still do it because it's just the type of person I am. I like, I'm a people pleaser. I like to make folks happy. God, this thing's getting warm on my ass over here. Need something to sit on. It's hot on my butt. Whew. Yeah, give me a glove. I'll sit on it. But I, I, I appreciate every single order. I really do, guys. And I treat every single order like it's being made for me to be used. So I don't rush through anybody's order to get to yours. I won't. I don't feel like that's fair to anyone that has spent the money. Because I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't. I don't have the cheapest tools out there, but I don't have the most expensive either by far. And that's right. Got to pay extra if you want it sugar coated. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure if you're watching this, you if you're the one that ordered it and you're watching this, you're probably not happy right now. But neither am I. Don't talk to me like that. Because I promise you, it won't end well for you because I have not violated the terms of service. Yeah, I ship worldwide, Luca. I ship worldwide. The customs is a little expensive, uh, but I ship worldwide if you're willing to pay for the shipping, man. That's right, hardworking men are underappreciated these days. Because you're damn right they are. I feel the same way. You know, I, there's a select few from my generation that are caught in between that generation gap that actually work their ass off, and a lot of the other ones like stuff handed to them. <laughs> but we won't get into that. All I can say is you got to try to make sure you look at the processing time. Because, I mean, if I get caught up, I might change that processing time. But it's always going to be on there okay it's always on there it's and it's not in fine print it's 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 just as big as the rest of the print in the line when you're ordering something but i really appreciate everybody sticking around listening to me raise hell for a minute it, something i had to get off my chest because i got hit with three different folks the other day and only one of them upset me the other two they came to me and asked if they can get it sooner after they ordered you know and it was honest that they weren't rude. They weren't upset if I told them no. 
not they they took it fine. You know, I talked to them. You know, if you want something sooner, come to me before you order. Let's work it out before you pay for it because now we got to go back and change things. The one that pissed me off was the guy that emailed me out of the blue, first time he's emailed me about anything, raising hell because he hasn't got his hammer yet and it's only four weeks into his eight-week wait. Uh, uh. Anyways, good luck, Luca, on your 11-year exam. Definitely save up, man. I got one ready to be made for you, baby. You just let me know. But I'm out of here, guys. It's been a great night. Uh, this thing Great time before we leave. Bottom fuller. Forged instead of welded shank. This is a forged shank. Upset shoulders. It's nice and straight. Square. Came out perfect. It's going to look good. Oh, I don't feel any kind of way, Amy. I'm, I'm not upset at any of you guys, and I'm not changing how I am. I'm letting them know I'm not going to tolerate that shit. That's who I am. I'm not being no way. I'm being me. I'm not going to tolerate you talking down to me for no reason. I haven't been mean to anyone. I haven't been rude to anyone. I can be, though. So if you're watching this, that's strike one. There we go. All it takes is a little bit of grinding. One more normalized cycle, just to get it where we want it. And this thing will be ready to come to quad set, guys. What do you think? Looks well, good. All right, guys, y'all have a good night, and I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all the support, and we're going to catch you on the next one.